Hey right, guys, I know it's been a while. Um, had a lot of things going on. Been busy running all over the country. Um, right now, I, I just got out of the Mojave Desert, I'm about 20 miles into the west side of Arizona, and I stopped at a rest area to have lunch. And I thought that maybe this would be a good time since it's so nice out. Hopefully the wind isn't interrupting the audio too much. I thought maybe this would be a good time to just maybe show you a little navigational trick. Uh, I do have my compass with me to prove the accuracy of this. But if you don't have a compass or your compass is broken, I want to show you how to use your analog watch to get cardinal direction. Uh, you're not going to be able to take a bearing with this and you're not going to be exact but if you're lost and you know what direction you have to go in you can use your watch to make sure that you keep traveling in the correct direction give you a quick look at the scenery around me and then we'll get to it so stick around Okay, enough of the scenery. So, I have my watch set to Eastern Standard Time because no matter where I'm at, I always follow my home time zone. But right now, I'm on, this is Pacific Time. So, I'm gonna set my watch back three hours for Pacific Time, it's four o'clock at home. Only one o'clock here. All right, so now I have it set for 12:58, one o'clock. <clears throat> so the sun is over there. We're gonna point our hour hand at the sun. Now our hour hand is here, pointed at the sun. Let's see if you can see that. Our hour hand is here, pointed at the sun. Here's our 12 o'clock. <clears throat> so we're going to split the difference between the two. And what we're pointing at is south. That is because we're in the northern hemisphere. If we were in the southern hemisphere, doing this exact thing would give us north. So this is giving us south. So from that, we can decide where our northeast and west are. And I'll get my compass out to show this to you. Hey guys, I need to correct a mistake. I was just watching that video real quick before I take off from the rest area. And I noticed that I said, if we were in the southern hemisphere and did the same exact thing, it would give us north. That is not, that's not true. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you would point 12 o'clock of your watch at the sun and then split the difference between 12 o'clock and the hour hand. Now you can see if I rotate my bezel and put north of the red part of my needle in the doghouse, okay? My black side of my compass is now pointing south, all right? If I take my watch and I split the difference between the hour hand pointing at the sun and noon of my watch, you can see they're the same. The slight difference between the watch and the compass that you could see in the video is the 
difference in declination. So this may be a method you never use, but it is a good wrinkle on the brain to have in case you're ever in a situation where you need a compass and don't have one, but you do have an analog watch. So uh, don't wear a digital watch because it's not going to help you. At least you'll know what time it is. Well, I hope the video was useful. It's bright out here. Alright guys, uh, hopefully this was useful and like I said, analog watch. Um, you can use a digital watch because if you know what time of day it is, and you know where the sun is at, you know what time the sun sets and rises and sets, um, you can estimate cardinal direction. Uh, we can do that in another video. So, like I said, uh, I've been gone a while. There's a lot going on in my personal life that was a lot more important than making YouTube videos. And I've also just been busy running 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 trying to make that cheddar hope that video was useful um, and until I get time to make another video get off the couch get off your phone and enjoy the outdoors